Say you want something that's practical but not boring. The Fiat 500L seems to hit the spot. Its distinctive look stands out. Some think it's cute, others say it's ugly. The $500 white painted roof makes even more of a statement. Even though it has a similar name to the tiny and cramped Fiat 500 hatchback, the 500L is completely different. Maybe that L stands for lots of room. The car's highlight is having generous interior space in a not-so-big package. The back seat is spacious and upright, and there's plenty of room in the cargo area. You might think that this tall car will be ungainly to drive, but the 500L proves quite agile. It changes directions willingly, but the steering doesn't communicate much with the driver. There's only one engine choice, a small displacement, 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder. It works pretty well with the manual transmission. But most will go for a transmission that shifts itself. Our 500L has Fiat's Euro Twin Clutch transmission, basically a manual transmission with no clutch pedal that shifts itself. It's dreadful. The power delivery is either on or off. It's like a light switch. Some shifts are quick, others are drawn out as the transmission gets confused making up its mind. So the basic concept of the 500L is pretty good. Too bad so many things about its execution are flawed.